Today we are painting Sigurd as Gunner at the House of Flame. And we are going to start with a wall of flame surrounding the tower. Start with lemon yellow and make flames flicking up from the ground and, let, and a little forward, a little towards the right. Next, you're going to be adding gold and making some concentrated areas that have more gold than others. And you can turn your brush sideways to make thinner flicks of flame. And you can also shade the, sh the sides. Next, you're going to use vermilion, a sort of a shadow under the flames to make the bottom parts more red then the tops and then you can flick it up in some areas as well again making your brush go sideways you can make some variation in the direction of the flames to make them look more wild After you're finished with the flames, you will then clean your brush and we are going to start making the horse and we are going to start making two oblongs, one bigger, one smaller. Going towards the left, you will see that the bigger one is the chest and the smaller one is the hip and you will connect both of them with curved lines and add these legs and be mindful of the direction of the joints. The front one goes forward and then back and the back ones go a little forward then back. Mind the direction of the joints. Now we are also going to be adding the limbs on the right side of the body of the horse. And we are going to be adding the neck now. It's a very strong neck and a strong jaw with a long head. And after you've gotten all of these pieces together, you're going to go through the whole shape to make it more cohesive. Add the tail and see if there are parts that need to be bigger. And then we're going to add ears and the mane of the horse. This is the shadow of our horse. Next, we're going to paint Connor himself, starting with the shoulder, going down to the hip, and down to the legs. This is just a shadow. You will make his head go a little backwards, being pulled by inertia because the horse is speeding some hair and an arm that points forward to charge and the other arm is holding the reins of the horse you can add a golden glow for his helmet with golden yellow paint and then you will add a cape behind him flowing like the tail of the horse Next, we are going to go to Prussian Blue and use it as our shadow. And we are going to be placing shadows on all of the parts of the body that are behind. And also the ones, uh, the limbs that are on the other side, the farther side. I also added shadow on the neck, and the jaw, and the hip, and the belly. And I'm trying to darken the hooves and the back parts of the legs. We're also going to add shadows on Gunner, I mean Sigurd as Gunner, and behind his arm, up below his chest, on his hair, and all of the places that would have a shadow. The flame is in front of them, and they're going through it, so there's a shadow behind them, and then light in front of them. Now we're using red to add some details for the cape, and the reins of the horse as well. And the reins of the horse will be connected on the snout and the head 
and it will be connected to the hand of Sigurd. And then we will be also defining the leg with the shadow before we go to golden yellow and we will put light on all of the opposite sides you can add some glow on the helmet and also the front of the chest everything that is meeting the flame which is in front of them so in front of the legs in front of the face in front of the neck and in front of Sigurd himself. Then we can paint the ground here darker. I'm using carmine red because it's on fire. And then we can also add the blue of the sky. And there we have Sigurd as Gunnar at the House of Flame. 